Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anupav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Today's class, we are continuing with lesson number 6. Lesson 6. Uh, les loisirs. Et les sports. Part 3. Part 1, Part 2 and all of the videos of Montessian Class 9 are present in the playlist titled the same Montessian Class 9. The link is in the description. You can watch it if you have not. So, à toi, have you? First question. Lis le compte et on tour la bonne réponse. Okay, so it's a question of passé composé versus imparfait. Simple enough. Uh, so, we have to read the passage and circle the correct option. Okay, so let's read it. I will be just writing the correct answer on the board because passage is quite long. Let's discuss. Il dash une fois un roi. Okay, roi it means king. So once upon a time there was a king. Now it's not like king was there for just a single event. No, he was there for a long time. So we will use être as empalfe. First one will be ete and not a ete. It won't be passe composé. Aurora ki sapele midas. Why sapele? Because naming is not an event. Name of that person is something for a long event, right? So it will be again empalfe. His name was midas. Il dash avoir beaucoup d'argent. He had a lot of money. Again, having a lot of money in the past is not like a single event. Long one. Continuous event. So again, Empalfe. He liked to have a lot of money. Il dash ka l'argent tout le temps. Et, okay. So he spend the money all the time he only spend the money all the time so again it's not a single event so empathy one thing to be noted in passive composition versus empathy i haven't made a video i may make up in a future of this topic in detail like passive composer you have to keep in mind that passive composer is used for only a single event which has been over it's not like it's been continued for a long time if it's been continued for a long time empathy will be there for example, if there's a sentence like un jour, then you get an indication that one day, one day this happened. So, passe composé. Otherwise, empathy. So, he had a lot of money. He didn't, he thought only of money. And ponce means to think. Uh, it il en dash de plus en plus. And he wanted more and more. Again, empathy of the verb vouloir, which means to want. Passe composé and empathy. You can watch helpful videos. I have the link in the description. Alors, il dash adieu tous les jours. And then he prayed to God every day. Every day, again, empathy. Dieu, content, Dieu, dash, content, de sa devotion, et lui, dash. Okay, so the God was happy from his devotion. And the God said, So the God was happy. Ete. One point I was told in school that whenever there is a the passive composer versus empathy, and the verb is either avoir or etter, all times we will be doing empathy 
and not passe compose. So this was the point told to me. So hence I have written ete and a lui and he said single event. So it will be a d passe compose of the verb did. Midas tu sakatu tu shedas satas for meda or or. Midas all the things which you will touch will become of gold. Midas dash tre zara dasada. Midas become very happy of the spoon. So again it's et the so we will be doing empathy. Like et and avoir always we choose empathy. Like passe composé is treated as grammatically not right in most of the cases. So here hence we use empathy. Midas ete tre zara dasada. Il a. Okay, il dash la table. Les assiers, les verres. Il a touché. It's a single event that he touched all that, all this. Let's rub upper ones to make space. So he touched uh, table, plates, glasses. Quel surprise! What a surprise! Il s'en so transforme, transforme, uh, transforme. Or no, everything he touched transformed to gold. La soir, quand il dash dans le jardin, in the evening, when he was walking in the garden. So it's like a single event. So we will do passe composé. Uh, il se promené. Like, uh, empathy won't be right here because it's a single event, right? In the evening when he was walking. Rather, you can even make it empathy because of one reason that empathy is also used for events which are still happening, like which haven't been, which haven't ended. So this walk hasn't ended, right? So the better option will be empathy. La petite princesse orders the voir so père. The, the young princess, happy to see her father, dash van Louis, who ran towards him. So kuri is the verb. It's a single event. So pass a composé. Ah, could you? Alas, L O C, L dash yun statue door, and sadly, the child, the princess, also became a statue of gold just because she touched her father. So sad. A single event. So a ah, devenu. Oh, sorry, devenir to become is with et to the. And it's done. Moving towards question number two. A devenu notice extra e because the princess is a girl and we have to follow the agreement. Second, lis le texte et répond aux questions si dessus pour des phrases complètes. Hier, Paul a reçu son achat de poche. Yesterday, Paul received his pocket money. Comme Paul est très gourmand, Et il avait femme. Like Paul is very greedy for food. He's a foodie and he's, he was hungry. Il est allé immédiatement à la boulangerie. He immediately went to the boulangerie. Like just think of it, no? This logic. Like il avait femme. This is a single event, right? But still, we have used empathy. So, with, for avoir and etter, when empathy versus passive composite is there, we prefer empathy. Il est allé immédiatement à la boulangerie. He went to the boulangerie, to the bakery, immediately. Il voulait une tarte aux pommes, mais malheureusement, la boulangerie était fermée. <coughs> uh, he wanted a apple tart, but sadly, the bakery was closed. 
Alors, Paul a décidé d'aller chez sa voisine qui aimait faire les gâteaux. Then he decided to go to uh, her neighbor's place, to his neighbor's place who likes to make cakes. Ce jour-là, the same day, elle était en train de faire des tartes aux pommes qu'elle voulait offrir à Paul. Uh, at the same time, she was preparing the apple tart, what Pierre wanted, what Paul wanted, and then she offered them to Paul. La gourmande a eu de la chance. The foodie had his chance, had his luck, because he got the apple tart. Il a bien mangé et il n'a pas de pensée sur la joue de poche. So he went to his neighbor's place to eat. Of course, the neighbor won't be charging, right? So he even ate well and he didn't even need to pay. So he saved the money also and he ate also. It's a comprehension passage, so we will be answering the questions also. Pourquoi Paul est-il allé à la boulangerie? Why did Paul go to the boulangerie? I'm not writing complete sentences. I'm writing answers and crisp. But when you get an exam, when you have to write in your book, you have to write the full thing. So, Paul est allé à la boulangerie parce qu'il a faim. It's clearly mentioned in the passage that he was hungry. Kill ave form. We can't change the form, right? Second, atil achete kalka shows laba. No, he didn't buy anything. In na pa achete, in na ria achete laba. Ria achete laba. You can add it. Achete. Fine. Third, pourquoi est-ce que Paul est allé chez sa voisine? Uh, so, Paul est allé chez sa voisine parce que la boulangerie était fermée. La boulangerie était fermée. The boulangerie was closed. Uh, Qu'est-ce que sa voisine préparait? Sa voisine préparait des tartes aux pommes. So I'm just writing des tartes aux pommes, but you need to write the full sentence that she was preparing apple tart. Elle préparait, elle était en train de préparer des tartes aux pommes. And the fifth one, Est-ce que Paul a économisé son argent de poche? Comment? Oui. Paul a économisé son, son argent de poche parce qu'il a bien mangé. Il est belle. Et a chez la voisin et il n'a pas dépense son argent de poche. The last statement you have to write that he ate well also without spending even a single penny of his pocket money because he was eating at his neighbor's place and of course the neighbor won't charge <clears throat> page number this question, these two questions were quite long page number 74 uh -huh. Okay, so we have that concept, the only thing. Ne and ke and salma, both mean only. We have that concept here. These autumn, for example, par exemple, for example, le garçon a dit nous avons seulement un menu. Nous n'avons qu'un menu. One is the same thing. You can say in both the manners, but the meaning will be the same. The boy said, we have only one menu. First one. Question number three, first, second, third, and four. Only four. Wow. Pour notre lycée, il y a seulement un arrêt de bus. For our school, there is only one bus stop. Arrêt de bus. A R I T E with a chapeau. Uh, the bus. 
So bus stop. There's only one bus stop for our school. So the other way of writing will be poor, poor, notably say. This you need to write. And then I am not writing due to the time constraint. So il n'y a qu'un arrêt de bus. Meaning will be the same. It's just the other way of writing. Second, we have ma tante ne reste que trois jours. My aunt didn't only rest, took rest for three days. So, ma tante est uh, resté seulement trois jours. Simple enough. And now third one, we have dans le bureau de l'enseignement, il n'y a que téléphone. Now dans le, dans le bureau de l'enseignement, in the inquiry office, you need to write this full and then you will write, il n'y a qu'un téléphone. There is only one telephone. So you can simply write, il y a seulement un téléphone. Right. Let's wrap the first two to make space. Elia, Selma, a telephone. And you need to write the previous part also when you're writing the answer. Uh, and the last one is fourth. Il a seulement 16 ans, mais il a gagné le prix pour son courage exemplaire. Like he is only 16 years old, but he earned a prize for his exemplary courage. So answer will be, he is only 16 years old. Il n'y a que 16 ans. Mais il a gagné le prix, son courage exemplaire. The same sentence will continue. Moving towards question number four. Question number four, we have rempli le blanc en utilisant il faut devoir and imperative. I hope you remember if you have watched one or two videos back that uh, we did three types of asking, of uh, speaking obligation sentences. One was with il faut, one was with devoir, and one was in imperative. So yeah, that could be done very easily. First one, we have, oh God, we have three. Uh, so le père dit à son fils. So the father is saying to his son, il fait froid, ferme la porte. It is cold, close the door. First, uh, then, second they have, fan la porte, close the door. This is imperative. Second could be written, il faut ferme la porte, infinitive form. It is a must that the door should be closed because it's cold. And now using the voix, tu dois fermer la porte. Like here you can't use vu because the father is speaking to his son. So he will be using tu. So tu dois fermer la porte. You must close the door. Rabbit, I'm rubbing this part also to utilize the space. And in fact this also. Then, second one. La professeur dit à élève. Okay, so the professor is speaking to the child, to the student, et to the authentif or class. This is the statement given to us. So the already mentioned, like one is mentioned and two more we need to write. So the devoir one is already mentioned. Two doit être to the authentif 
or class you must be attentive in the class other ways of writing will be ilfo and then imperative so let's do it uh, we have uh, so authentic or class number one the voir is already given so now ilfo form il faut être attentif en classe meaning is uh, third la mère dit à l'enfant the mother is speaking to the child ranger la chambre arrange the bedroom is the statement given so il faut ranger la chambre it is a must that the room should be arranged. So other ways of writing will be, first will be ranger la chambre in imparfait, sorry, in imperative. Imperative can be also watched. It's a helpful video. Ranger uh, la chambre, imperative statement. And the other one will be using ilfo. No, ilfo is already given. So it is uh, to be done with devoir. So tu dois ranger La chambre. Now, going to the last question of this chapter, we have Reconnais tu ces sportifs célèbres? Do you know these sports celebrities? First one is Sachin Tendulkar, the image says Sachin Tendulkar, he is a cricketer. Second one, we have a tennis player, he, uh, his name is Rafael Nadal, uh, not sure for the pronunciation. Uh, for third one, we have a person, uh, the Vishwanathan Anand, who is a chess player. Fourth one, we have Zinedin uh, Zaytak, not sure for the spelling, Zinedin, who is a football player. And then we have Martina Navrat Navratiova, uh, who is a tennis player. So these five sports celebrities we know. And now, a small description given of two de fonds. La tour de fonds, c'est la plus grande course cycliste of fonds. It's a very big cycle race in France, two de fonds. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and French on the path. If you have any doubt or decision, you may write it in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, you may also like my Facebook page by the same name, French on the path. Lesson 6 is over. See you in Bilan 2. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. N'oubliez pas que la langue française est la mode.